In today's video, I'm going to explain how to level up the battle pass quickly inside of multiverses. So this is how you're going to be able to level up quickly and claim the rewards. So if you come over here into battle pass, you can see that there's lots of different levels here. And at each um, 10 levels, you're going to get a cool like uh, thing. This is called like a milestone. Um, every 10, you'll get like a pretty cool one. But what you'll notice is actually some of them are locked. So for the ones that are locked, you're going to have to pay to unlock the battle pass but the ones that say free above you can unlock these completely for free now to go ahead and actually uh, level up there's a few ways you can do this so the way it all works is if you go to over to career here you can see that the tier that you were on equates to your battle pass level so i'm level i'm tier two right now but if i went up to tier three i would unlock the tier three battle pass rewards so if you level up all the way to level 70 which is the top one right now you're going to be unlocking uh, this one here so essentially your tier is the uh, level of battle pass you are. So there's a few ways that you can actually level up. The first way is going to be missions. So you're going to get your training missions here, which you want to do. And these are going to be giving you XP. So you've got um, complete three matches. You've got play three rift nodes. You've got all these different ones here that you want to go ahead and do. And these are going to be getting you XP, which will level up your character, which in turn levels up the battle pass. We've also got our daily missions here, and you want to be taking advantage of these because these you can do every single day. So you've got things like deal damage, win PvE games, um, do certain attacks. And then you've got your weekly missions. These ones will get you more XP as well. Um, and they're all relatively easy to do, and you can basically just grind through them, and you're going to get a ton of XP for them. So you're going to get 750 for each of these. Now you're also going to have like special event ones as well. Sometimes these can give you XP as well. Now you're also going to notice something called events. So here in events you've got all of these different um, things you can try. So you've got um, some of these events will basically give you XP. And they'll also give you limited items such as, um, you know, you've got these skins. Uh, you've got all these ones here. So you can try these ones and they're going to get you XP as you can see. But also other cool bonuses. So you want to go ahead and make sure you're doing these ones. And you're going to get XP for this. So this challenge here is going to be... Um, logging in every day so when you log in every single day you're going to be getting xp you're going to get rewards uh, so you can do this one this one here you've got um you're going to have to be getting uh beat rifts and then you're going to get xp and rifts are these things here like these different things you're going to get daily rewards for them basically you want to be going through all of these different challenges here and the more you do them the more xp you're going to get and you're going to level up that kind of thing so to do that, really, you're also going to get XP from playing games. So when you win, when you do certain moves, you're going to get XP. And uh, sometimes they'll have special game modes that are going to give you extra XP for playing them. But it's really as simple as that. Play the game, do the challenges, and you're going to unlock it. Now, one more thing you can actually do is if you don't want to wait, you can go ahead and you can purchase um, the premium pass and you can get tiers. So this one here, premium pass plus 10 tiers is going to get you 10 tiers. Click on it. And you can go ahead and purchase these um, like gems here. And I think you're going to have to get this plan here, which is going to be £40. But you're going to be able to level up with this quite a lot. And um, yeah, essentially as simple as that. So if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below that helped. And let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make about multiverses or any other game in particular. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.